Welcome to this week's practice. Um, this week's practice really is tailored to um, the breath. Um, I titled the class Eden um, because for me, when I tap into my breath, when I'm conscious and I'm aware of my breath, I feel as if I've created this really sacred space deep within me, this place that is less affected by my environment and the people that I'm around and more in tune and in sync with just how I'm feeling and my ability to control those responses just by tapping into my breath a little bit more clearly. Um, so really as you practice today, um, see if you can allow the breath to just really take center stage and um, play a big part in your practice. So just being super aware and conscious of the inhales and super aware and conscious of the exhales. And just noticing how they begin to shift that inner landscape uh, deep within us. So we're gonna get right to it. You might need a block for this practice. Um, it will be pretty stretchy. So if you find that you have really tight hamstrings or um, like IT band area, the outer part of the leg, you may wanna grab a block. Um, a strap could also be beneficial today. If you don't have a strap, using a towel or like a t-shirt that you have um, just to help close the gap between some of our postures might help, but again, it's not necessary. So I'll make sure to cover all the modifications as we move along. So let's get started. Go ahead and start to lie back. So when you're ready, just coming on back. Maybe for a moment, just pulling your knees into your chest, giving yourself a little squeeze, almost as if you were celebrating yourself for coming to practice today. And then take a deep breath in. On the exhale, just start to stretch downwards through your legs and reach upwards through your arms. For the next few breaths here, just inhaling as much as you can and squeezing at the top of that inhale, just feeling your ribs lift up from the ground, feeling your chest begin to expand, and then exhale, just getting heavy and relaxing. And we'll do that again, just taking a deep breath in. Squeezing through the top of that inhale again, ribs lift, chest expands, and then exhale. Great, so give yourself another stretch like that. Just letting it be the biggest breath you have in this moment. So you're just inhaling, squeezing at the top of that inhale, lifting your ribs, taking in every bit of breath. And then exhale, start to relax your arms along the sides of your body. And then just begin to breathe. If at first your breath was moving in through the nose and out through the mouth, see if now maybe you can switch that breath to move in through the nose and then back out through the nose. Just becoming this observer of your breath. Beginning to engage your practice. You become this, this participant, this active participant in your breathing and in your moving. Take another full breath in. And as you exhale, softly start to blink your eyes open. Maybe stretch out through your toes. And then bend into your knees so that your feet are flat on the ground. We're going to take some time just to drop the knees over to the right. If your top leg has this tendency to spill over a little bit more, that's fine. But let the stretch or the twist rather become the exhale. And so when you inhale, just coming back to center and then exhaling, stretching in the opposite direction. 
Then following that pattern, inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, twisting it out. Inhale again, come back to center. Then exhale, twist it up. And just start to follow your own breath pattern. You may be moving a little bit more quickly than I am or more slowly, and that's fine. We're not really counting or aiming for a number. We're just tapping into that source of pranayama or breath work. Okay, so when you're ready, just let your legs fall over towards the left. And then just swing your right arm all the way towards that left side edge of your mat. And then start to pick yourself up slowly from this point. So just coming on up to a seated position. Hi. And then once you're seated, just letting the legs come out in front of you. <laughs> and bring your right thigh bone over your left thigh bone. So think half cow face or Ardhigo Mukhasana. Flex up into that left leg. Now, if you want to take this a little bit deeper, you're more than welcome to coil that left leg under. So we've got knee to knee and just stack. And then start to reach your arms up overhead. Inhale. And then exhale, bend into the left elbow. Swing your right arm up and over. Now, this is a great time to use a strap or you know a towel or a t-shirt, whatever you have nearby. Um, but you know, if there's nothing close by, just keep your hands open. Pin the elbows back, open up through the shoulders, flex those feet as you slowly start to lean forward. So this should feel pretty intense. So just recognizing what's happening to the breath. Have you maybe paused or cut your breath off a bit? And then start to lift yourself up slowly. Perfect, exhale to untangle the arms and then untangle the legs. Give your body a moment, let the blood flow back in. And then left thigh over the right thigh. And again, you can keep that right leg extended or you can pull in for the full position. So knee to knee, feet nice and flexed. I'm gonna take my arms up to the sky, breath in. And then exhale, I'm gonna sweep the left arm down from below and then bend into that right elbow. At this moment, I'm not grabbing my fingers together. I'm just, it's not present for me right now, so I'm not gonna force it. Take a deep breath in, keep the belly toned, and then just start to lean forward into this stretch. And check in with the breath. Are you cutting it off? Are you maybe clenching the jaw a bit too much? And then inhale, just start to lift up Again, untangle the arms, untangle the legs, and just let that blood come back into your thighs and your hips. Perfect. Shake out the thighs, and then go ahead and come on back down towards your mat. So bringing knees back into the chest, we're just going to roll back. Start to add a little bit of momentum. So think rocking side to side at first, and then maybe creating this rocking and rolling sensation with the legs. So coming up, engaging the core. Using that exhale as you come up, and then finding enough momentum, hopefully, right, that we can just come forward into a fold. Now, if that's not present for you, don't worry about it, don't get caught up in it, but do take a halfway lift, pull your chest forward, and then exhale, fold, soften, and relax. Bend your knees here if you're feeling pretty tight. Maybe add a bit of sway side to side. And then inhale, begin to rise up into mountain. Now at the top of this mountain, try to squeeze your palms together at the very top. And if that feels like too much, just press your fingertips together to touch. Lift up through the ribs, lift your chest up to the sky and drop your head. Nice exhale, forward fold back into the legs. Bend the knees, bow the head. Inhale, halfway lift, pull the spine forward. And then exhale to forward fold back into the body. Inhale, rise up into mountain. Maybe squeezing the palms together, lift the heart. And then exhale, we're right back in it, forward fold into the legs. Now inhale, take a halfway lift. Broaden through that collarbone area. And then exhale, plant your palms, step back into a plank position. 
gaze from your plank, start to glide forward through your toes, exhale to chaturanga, down to your bellies. And then just bring the forearms out in front of you for sphinx pose. And just push the hands down into the ground and start to traction the elbows backwards so that your chest really opens up through the arms. Notice my legs are active, right? My tops of feet are pushing into the mat, my kneecaps are lifted. Take a breath in. And then exhale, just look to your left, finding that left outer hip. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, as you lower your chest, extend your right arm out to the right, right side of your face down, and then just step your left foot over your right leg for shoulder roll. Make sure that the left hand pushes into the mat and that the left elbow points up to the sky. And check back in. Is this a point where you cut the breath short? Do you begin to respond to any strain by straining your breathing? Nice, another full inhale. And then exhale, full out in the left forearm down, and then just retract that right forearm back, back into sphinx. Nice, inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale and look to the right. Perfect, come back to center, deep breath. And then exhale, left arm out to the left, left side of the face down, and then right foot steps over the left leg. Try to make sure that left palm is flat on the mat. The right palm is flat on the mat or the earth. Another deep breath. And then exhale, roll yourself back onto your bellies. Nice, forearms coming down. <laughs> Sometimes hit the curtains in my, or the blinds, I'm sorry, in my house. <laughs> deep breath in. And then exhale, lower the chest back down, hands towards your upper rib cage. Come on up and then just sit back into a child's pose, just stretching out the spine a bit. Rock a little side to side. And then inhale, shift your weight forward to tabletop. And then exhale, finding downward facing dog on the out breath. Add some movement here. Maybe that means paddling your legs or taking your hips side to side. But let the head get heavy, soften the jaw. And then on the exhale, stepping, walking, or hopping forward towards the top of the mat. Nice halfway lift, pulls your chest forward. And then exhale, bow, fold, and look within. Arms reach up into mountain, squeezing the palms together, lift the heart. And then exhale, just finding center, right back into that forward fold. Nice inhale, halfway lift, pull your chest forward. Exhale, bow, fold, and soften. Inhale, rise up into mountain, palms squeezing together, lift the chest. And then as you draw the hands through center, you're right back into your fold. Nice, take the halfway lift. And then plant your palms, step backwards into plank position. Perfect, this time from plank, we're gonna exhale all the way down to our bellies. Walk the hands a little further back, think mid ribs, tops of the feet push down, inhale, bunjangasana or cobra. A Little bit more activity through the hands and the arms on this one, full breath. And then exhale, release towards the mat. Perfect, pick yourself up, all fours. And then sit back into that child's pose just momentarily, stretching it out, moving it out. Inhale, come forward into tabletop. And then exhale, tuck your toes downward facing dog on the out breath. Another full inhale. And then exhale, lower your knees back down to the ground, keep the spine neutral. Maybe tone up your belly a bit more. Reach your left arm up to the sky, take a breath in. Now when I reach that left arm up, maybe adding a stretch through the wrist and fingers. And then on the exhale, we're gonna bring the left arm and just tap it to the right wrist. Nice, inhale again, I'm gonna lift the left arm up. Exhale and tap. Perfect, inhale again, lift that left arm up. This time, thread the left arm through behind that right arm, left side of your face coming down. Perfect. Right hand pushes into the mat, elbow points up. And then I'm gonna take my right foot back to add a little bit more connection to the belly. Maybe spin your gaze up to the right shoulder. And check in with your breath. Right, what is the response 
that you're creating in this body, in this Eden or your oasis, if you will. Deep breath. And then exhale, begin to untangle. Set that right knee back down. Perfect, right arm comes up, deep breath in. And then exhale, tap the wrist. Nice, inhale again, open up. Exhale, tap the wrist. Last one, arm reaches up. And then exhale, right arm threads behind the left, right side of the face coming down. Left hand plants firmly, and that left elbow points up to the sky. Option to step the left foot back, not necessary unless you want to add some challenge. Add a little length. Spin your gaze up to the left shoulder. And then exhale, left knee down, right arm begins to untangle, come back up onto all fours. On the out breath, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, lift the tailbone up high. Let your head drop. And then just check in with your hands, right? Make sure they're wide. You're not cupping or doing anything uncomfortable with your palms, but rather just pushing the ground away. And then reach your right leg up to the sky. Nice. On this three-legged dog, think less about height of the leg, but more that your leg is just straight. And then come up onto the ball of your left foot, so you're almost tippy-toeing. Breathe in. And then bend the right knee, open up your hip, spin your chest slightly to the right. Nice job. Roll out through the ankle if you need to. And then step the right foot forward towards the right thumb for warrior one. Now in this warrior one, I'd like to bring the palms together if that's available to you. Again, if it's not, no big deal. Just keep lunging. Nice settle into the hips, into the legs. Take a breath in. And then exhale, lean forward with your arms. You can have these alligator arms, and you've got this strong lunge in your right leg. Reach the arms back behind you, interlace your fingers, open up your chest. Take a breath in. And then on the exhale, tumble warrior, try to bring both shoulders inside of the right leg. Drop your head. Guide your right hip back to center as best you can. Inhale. And then exhale, release the hands down to the ground. And you step your left foot forward so that you're in pyramid pose. Think about like a leg's width, one of your own leg's width between your two feet. Lengthen your spine, pull that collarbone forwards to the top of the mat, and then just fold into that right leg. Now this is where you might need a block, right? If your hamstrings are really tight, that block or book or whatever it is that you're using could be really useful in just bringing the ground to you. And just try to relax the head and the neck. And then from here, keeping the left hand down, I'm going to start to take my right arm up to the sky. So inhaling, reaching up. And then exhale, I'm going to tap either towards wrist or ankle. Nice. Inhale again, reach up. Exhale and tap. Inhale again, reach up. Now this time, just trying to hold the position. Now if that right shoulder is achy, just right hand to hip bone. Right? It does not have to be intense. Intensity is not necessarily always the answer. Perfect. Bring that right arm down. Deep bend into your right knee. Plant your left hand ahead of your right foot so that we can turn into a modified side plank. Right arm up to the sky. Steady breath in. And then exhale, right hand comes down, right foot steps back, move into a vinyasa. If you're sticking with cobra or skipping the vinyasa, just making that personal call for yourself. Take a deep breath in, slow breath out. Left leg comes up on the inhale, think more straight rather than high, and then come up onto the ball of the right foot. Left knee bends. Notice the breath. Left foot forward to warrior one. Right foot anchors, arms reach up. Palms together, maybe at the top of the inhale. Exhale to settle into the legs. Perfect. Lean forward with your arms, breathe in. And then exhale to interlace behind the back. May steady the weight between both of your legs. Open up the chest. And then exhale into humble warrior. Arms reaching up to the sky. Guide your left hip to center. Drop your head. 
One more. And then exhale, release your hands down to the ground. Step your right foot forward into pyramid pose. And you suggest your feet. Try to level out your hips. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Nice, right hand down to the earth. Left arm up to the sky. Inhale. And then exhale, sweep and tap. Nice, inhale again, reach the arm up. Exhale. And tap. On this one, reach the arm up. Inhale. And then just spend some time in revolve train. Tone up to the belly. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale, left hand comes down. Step your right hand forward ahead of the left foot. And then begin to turn the toes to the long side edge of the mat. Nice lift up through the hips. Engage that upper back. And then left hand down, left foot back, plank pose. Option to move through that vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog on the out breath. Nice, inhale again, right leg lifts up to the sky. On the exhale, come up onto the ball of the left foot, knee bends, hip opens. Right foot forward to warrior one. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, sit into it, stretch. And then inhale, begin to reach forward. Exhale, hands interlace behind the back, fingers interlace. Open up your chest, breath in. Exhale to humble warrior. Try to drop the head. Relax the jaw. Two more breath. Exhale to release the hands. Step the left foot forward, pyramid pose. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale and fold. Left hand stays down. This time, no taps. We're just coming straight into revolved triangle. If you're looking for a little bit of depth, maybe working left hand towards the pinky side edge of the foot, right? if that is available to you today. And then exhale, right hand down, step the left hand forward, spin into that modified side plank, lifting the hips, breath in. And then exhale, right hand down, right foot back, option to flow. Almost as if we were placing our salutations with this movement. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. Left leg lifts. Come up onto the ball of the right foot. Bend through the left knee. Left foot forward to warrior one. Right foot anchors. Arms come up. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. A few rounds of breath here. Just really charging up the legs, hands down. Step forward to pyramid. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale and fold. Right hand down, left arm up to the sky. And I usually have to, me personally, I have to spin my right toes out of it to access this revolved triangle. And just ideally pulling the weight out of that base arm. And then left knee bends as that left hand comes down, step the right hand forward, and then pivot on those feet. A little modified Vashistasana. Left hand down, left foot back. Just moving into Vinyasa. Opening up the heart on that inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Great job, yogis. Take a deep breath in. Slow breath out. Travel forward towards the top of the mat, whether you're stepping, hopping, or jumping. Inhale. Exhale and fold. And then inhale. Coming on up into mountain. And our mountains are pretty short today. It's just an inhale with the chest. And then exhale right back into it, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale from here, stepping your left foot back behind you, coming into warrior two position. Now when the arms wiggle up, you want to keep that momentum so that the left arm comes underneath. 
Right arm reaches from up overhead, finding cow face with your arms. Keep lunging forward into the right thigh and then pull the chest towards the front of your mat. Breathe in. And then release into Trikonasana. Right arm down, left arm up to the sky. So triangle pose. Pull the weight actively, right? Pull the weight out of this right arm. Perfect, breath in. And then exhale, reverse your warrior. So right knee bends, left arm down, right arm up to the sky. Nice, keep the deep lunge. Now push it back through your right leg, just reversing your triangle. Breathe in. And then exhale, move into extended side angle. So right hand comes down, either block or the earth. And then left arm, I'm going to sweep it up overhead. And then taking that left arm, start to pitch it back behind you. Find a half bind. Sit heavily into the hips, into the center body. Perfect. Full breath. And then exhale, left hand down. Step your right foot over your left leg for wild thing. Make sure to turn the chest up to the sky, push down into the feet, and then come forward into plank with an option to flow. Shoulders back, chest open. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Travel forward, top of the mat when you're ready. Inhale to halfway. Exhale and forward fold. Inhale, rise up into mountain. Lift the heart. And then exhale, re forward fold back into the legs. Nice right foot steps back. Warrior two. We're going to windmill the arms up. But find that cow face position. So right arm reaches underneath. Left arm up overhead. Try to connect the fingers. Re establish your lunge. Pull your heart forward. And just imagine it's easy, right? <laughs> Deep breath. And then exhale, triangle pose. Left hand down. Ooh. Right arm up to the sky. Perfect. Breathe in again. And then exhale from here, moving into reverse warrior. Perfect. Right arm down. Left arm up. Notice I'm maintaining the lunge, right? Only moving the torso and the arms. And then push back through the left leg. It's gathering a little bit of lift. We move into that extended side angle. Left hand down, right arm up. And then half bind, right arm behind the back. Preferably walking the fingers into that inner left thigh. Right shoulder rolls back. Maybe we look up. And how's your breath, right? How is the response in the body? Nice, breathe in. And then exhale, right hand down. Left foot steps over the right leg. Wild thing, push down into the feet. Notice I'm activating the ball of my left foot, lifting my heart up to the sky, and then plank pose. Vinyasa. You can always skip it, right? Pushing back into downward facing dog on the out breath. Great work, yogis. Take a big breath in through your nose. Exhale, sigh it out. We're working a little bit more deeply. Here we go, right leg comes up to the sky. Take a big breath in. Now exhale, hug your right knee in towards your chest. Imagine you wanted to kiss it. Lift up into the ball of the left foot. Nice right foot forward, warrior two. Find those cow face arms again if they're present. Strong lunge, right, pin those elbows back. Pull the chest forward. And then release into Trikonasana. Good job. Strong through the back leg. Right arm bears very little weight. Inhale. And then exhale, reverse your warrior. Great job. Take a full breath. And then moving into extended side angle, there's a couple of options here. So as you come forward into that posture, you can do what we've been doing with the half bind. Right, so that arm would reach up and then roll back, half bind you can begin to work on a full bind. So right arm coming from underneath the thigh, and I begin to walk my left foot in slowly. Right, you can stay here in the lunge or step your left foot forward and begin to pull your right thigh in, up in towards your chest. Nice, flex into the right foot. 
And then using the, the front body, draw the shoulders back, pull your heart forward. Flex your point into the toes, pull down through your hands, maybe extend up through the right leg, bird of paradise. Breath in, exhale, release, right foot back down. Step backwards into that extended side angle if it's available. And then plant both hands down. Perfect, wild thing. Step the foot over, just clearing out the hips. Full breath in. And then exhale, vinyasa, or downward facing dog. And just taking your time in that posture, right? No need to force bird of paradise if it's not happening. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. And then go back to that nose to nose breath, right? Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Nice left leg lifts, deep breath in. Exhale, knee to chest, imagine you wanted to kiss it. And so in order to do that, we come up onto the ball of the right foot and then left foot plants forward, warrior two. Find your cow face arms if they're available. Move your hair out of the way, sit low. And just pull your chest forward, breath in. And then exhale into Trigonasana, left hand down. Right arm up to the sky. Work on, again, just pulling weight out of the left arm, lengthening out the side body, and just pulling those shoulders away from the ears so the neck feels really long and stacked. Full breath. Reverse your warrior. Left knee bends, right arm down, left arm up. Again, keeping the lunge. Push back to the left leg, breath in. And then exhale, moving into that extended side angle. Right arm reaches up to the sky to start. And then we see, is it a half bind? Maybe it's a full bind, right? In which case, that's really hard. And, and you're perfectly fine and well to stay here, right? You don't have to begin to step the right foot forward and pull that left knee up into your chest. Now, if this is where you're at, a lot of times I suggest that the yogi just work on, you know, balancing here, pulling the chest forward. And then when you feel good and ready, it's beginning to stand. Draw that left knee back, shoulders back, chest opens up, and then maybe a little lift through that left leg. Breath in, and then exhale, step it back. <laughs> left foot down, right foot back, and we're back into your extended side angle. Take a breath. Exhale, right hand down, wild thing, left foot steps back, lifting the hips, breath in, and then exhale, vinyasa flow, or downward facing dog. And you can tell by my breath, <laughs> it is tough to keep that response, and it's tough to control what's happening on the inner landscape. I know, I know that nothing that's coming out of my mouth is easy. I totally understand that. But it's just through practice that we begin to transform the inner workings of the body by just practicing our breath. Smooth inhale here. Smooth exhale. Can you drop your head a bit more? Perfect, travel forward towards the top of the mat, please, however you choose to arrive. Inhale, heart pulls through, and then exhale, forward fold into your legs. Perfect, come on up into mountain. Now this time, mountain lifts our hearts up to the sky, but rather than folding, just come back into center. Nice job, at least pull your right foot into tree pose, please. And any variation will do, whether that means ankle, shin bone, or up into your inner thigh. But just focusing on, you know, shoulders back, heart lifting forward, right knee pointed out to the right, making hands to your heart. Or the big finisher, right arms up to the sky. And focusing on the breath. 
relaxing the shoulders down. And then exhale, step your right foot to the right side edge of your mat, left foot to the left side edge of your mat, and then just driving those prayer hands, those Anjali Mudra hands, down and through that center of gravity in the body. Using the elbows to encourage a deep stretch of the inner thighs. Malasana squat. You can always sit on a block or your books, whatever you're using for practice today. And then exhale, forward folds. Just begin to walk the feet back underneath the hip points. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise into the mountain. And then exhale, come to center. Perfect. Pull your left foot into Vikasana or tree pose. And just being mindful, right, where the, I always like to think of connect the dots in the body with the joints. Where are we stacking the joints in our body, right? Are the shoulders drawing down and back? That left knee, are we turning it out to the left? Is the left foot pushing into the thigh? And is the thigh kind of pushing back into the foot? Your right foot should have a bit of a teeter. That's normal. Just stabilizers at work. And then picking a place for your hands. And bringing more than movement into those postures, but intention. Perfect. One more deep breath. And then exhale as you draw the hands down through center. Left foot steps wide, right foot steps wide, and we're back into Malasana squat. Try to lift up through the spine. Lift your chin. And then exhale, forward fold, walking the feet back underneath the hips. Halfway lift, heart pulls forward. And then exhale, planting the hands, moving through a bit of vinyasa or stepping back right into your downward facing dog, keeping those thighs lifted. Exhale, we'll meet up in the back. Take a deep breath in, slow breath out. Perfect yogis. Drop down onto your right forearm and then your left. So it's a lot like Sphinx pose that we started practice with. Palms push down and attractioning the mat a bit. Walk your feet in. And just work on lifting your left leg up. You now, whatever is present here for you, just taking it. If that means you're hopping a bit, working on an inversion, that's completely up to you. But we're not tied to it. We're not married to it. And then knees come down. Lift your arms up towards the sky as you're kneeling. Breath in. And then exhale to interlace the fingers, support the back of the head. So think nape of the neck area. Pin the elbows back, much like you did in cow face arms. Lift your heart up to the sky and then just start to lean back. Relax your jaw. And soften into the shape of it. Beautiful. Start to lower back down. Hands to the earth. Tuck the toes downward facing dog. Hips up and back. Left forearm down. Right forearm down. Just finding sphinx pose. Walk your feet in. Engage the belly. Right leg lifts. And again, if there's any like height here that you're getting, just taking it, playing with it. Breathing into it, perfect. And then just dropping your knees back down. Inhaling your arms up to the sky. Now exhale, you're more than welcome to take the um, little hammock towards the back of the head. But if you feel like dropping into full camel, just reaching the hands back towards the heels, pushing the hips forward, lifting the heart up. And witness the breath. Exhale to release, hands to heart.
palms come flat. Downward facing dog, hips up and back. Great job, yogis. Take a full breath in. And then exhale, just looking forward at the space between your hands, traveling through to sit or drag your knees. Come on down to your back. Knees into chest. Now this position might start to shift into happy baby. And I know that happy baby isn't for everyone, so if you're just feeling a little bit too tight in your hips, you can always just grab at the shin bones or the kneecaps and keep the legs a little bit wide and open. Deep breath. And then exhale, feet to the ground. Perfect. And just begin to move a bit side to side. Try to neutralize the neck and relax your shoulders a bit. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, just bringing the right foot back to the ground, let your left thigh wrap over your right thigh, maybe even finding eagle legs if possible, and then scooting the hips just over a bit, start to drop your knees over to the right. If your legs start to come undone or untangled, that's okay. Just try to maintain that connection to your breath, witnessing the inhale and witnessing the exhale. Perfect. Take another breath in. And then as you breathe out, just start to untangle your legs and then bring that right ankle over the left thigh bone. Recline pigeon opposite side. Pull that right thigh a little bit away from your belly. Just start to stretch out. And then bringing your left leg, the left foot down to the ground, bring your right thigh and just cross it over your left thigh. Little eagle leg twist if it's available. Right arm extends out to the right. Let those shoulders soften and settle down into the earth. Feel any tension moving away from the jaw. Feel your face beginning to get a bit heavier. So we're starting to get closer towards this last bit of practice. And then inhale, start to bring your body back to center, just untangling those legs. And we'll finish practice here with a variation of a back bend. So if you are more comfortable moving in bridge pose, just bringing those feet right underneath, those ankles right underneath your knees, feet flat, hands flat on the floor. Let's start to lift the hips up and away. Pull the chin up and away from the chest and just enjoying this for maybe five deep breaths. And if you decide that you'd like to take this stretch a little deeper, just planting the hands towards the ear space Propping up on top of the head for a moment just to establish a nice strong grip. Uh, presence through the feet and the legs. And then coming up slowly when you are ready into uh, Uddhava Dhanurasana bow pose. Upward facing bow. Nice full breath. One more. Perfect. Exhale. Just start to bring your body back down. A little side to side action with the knees. And just clearing out that lower back. And if you have some time here, yogis, start to stretch outwards, downwards through your legs. Let your arms rest on the sides of your body. 
And maybe spend about three to five minutes in your Shavasana, in your rest. Starting by taking a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. And for those of you that are a bit short on time today, just starting that slow process of rolling over towards your weight. And then bringing your body up into a seated position. Eyes can be open to close. Maybe bringing hands to the heart if that resonates with you in your practice. And we'll just close the practice off here with a little bit of gratitude, a whole lot of love, and sending that to yourself for showing up, for pressing play, for doing your best, for trying, because I know how hard it can be just to unroll the mat and get started. And so honoring that, um, taking time to honor the breath, honoring the fact that we are witnessing this breath, that we are an active participant in this life, in this experience. My deepest gratitude to all of you. Thank you so much for practicing today. Namaste. Okay.